I want to go really pretty quantum with you in this episode. So for those of you who are thrivers and those of you who get the deeper quantum truths, this will be right up your alley. For those of you who haven't heard this information yet, I just want you to settle in, just take a couple of deep breaths and just open up your mind and your body so that you can understand what's going on. Because this is such an important topic. Who are you going to be without the narcissist energy? Well, first of all, after having a narcissist in your life, who are you going to be without the narcissist energy? You're going to be deeply traumatized. You're going to be anxious. You're going to feel like you're suffering from this horrible addiction to the narcissist or at the very least, the thoughts and the obsessions about what happened with the narcissist. And it's going to shock you just how disintegrated you feel, how shocking things are, how hard it is to just get up and get on with your life, how you feel like maybe you're never going to be able to love again. You're never going to be able to recover what you've lost. You're going to feel hopeless, helpless, and also like you're suffering significant post-traumatic stress disorder apart from goodness knows what else. So it is completely not true that you're just going to leave and you'll feel better. You don't. In fact, you feel worse before you feel better. And why is that? Well, before we go into why that is, I just want to give you some hope right from the start that it's not always going to be like that. I promise you it's not always going to be like that. In fact, there is a way when you get through this and you get out to the other side of this, your energy is going to be better than it was even before you were with the narcissist. And even if narcissistic abuse is all you've ever known for your entire life, I promise you this because I live it and thousands of other people that I know who I'm connected to in this community who have followed my lead and the way to thrive a heal are also living that. So I just want you to park that thought before we get into how horrible it is when you first disconnect with the narcissist, because it is horrible. So what's going to happen is, is when you are first of all without the narcissist energy, is you are going to feel these horrible things come up that are going to shock you, as I said. And the reason is, is because previously you were in the fight. You were fighting for survival. You were on the battlefield and you were busy. You were in the job of survival in the moment so often. But it's not until you got off the battlefield and you got away from the narcissist energy that the abuses and the horrific, unspeakable, inhumane things that happened to you, and they are from last week, last month, last year, the year before, the decade before, all have a chance to come and hit you. And it feels like a freight train. And you feel like you're going mad. You feel like you're not going to survive it. And you may feel this incredible pull that you need to fix things. You need to go back. You need to find a solution. You can't live without this person, even though they're destroying you. And you may literally feel like you're losing your mind, your soul, and maybe even the will to live. Aftershock can be so hard and heavy. So what is that about? This is where we go quantum. This is where I want you to understand that this is physiological. Quantum is in your body. It's cellular, it's energetic, it's vibrational, but it starts in the cells of your body. Emotion, energy, emotion, and the energy is being created in the cells in your body. And it's either healthy or it's not. So what happens in our life is when we're experiencing strong emotional reactions to things, and with a narcissist, they are very emotional, our reactions to being betrayed, being invalidated, being abused, being accused of things that we would never do, being gaslit, having the rug pulled out from under us, being threatened, being threatened with things like abandonment, punishment, rejection, 
and not being able to have a voice or our values or our truths respected or on it is emotionally devastating. So when these things are happening to us in our life, we have very strong emotional reactions to them, which is completely understandable. And then what happens is the signal of that, I want you to know this, this is the quantum piece of this, your body registers first. They know that through scientific experiments now with flashcards, that if there is some kind of uh, theme, whether it be love or disaster or while you're watching that flashcard, the cells in your body actually register an intelligence to that and a reaction before your brain picks it up. So what happens is, is we have emotional reactions to things depending on our programming, our past, our genetic history that we got from our parents, whether we have a, a, a big amygdala, whether we have survival programs that are highly energized, whether we're at peace, how solid we are in our body, how solid we're not. That's different people have different emotional reactions, but we're having hard and heavy emotional reactions. And then what happens, the electrical signal of that, the energy of that goes to our brain and it goes to the hypothalamus, which is the peptide chemical cocktail manufacturing part of our brain. And it creates a cocktail that will match things like betrayal or invalidation or flat out abuse or whatever it is, the terrible, terrible emotions that we experience via a narcissist that get triggered off. And we create that, our, our hypothalamus creates the match to that emotion, which then distributes through our body and the cells in our body, every cell accepts that chemical cocktail, that peptide that matches the emotion. Now, because it's a horrible chemical cocktail, it's a negative emotion, it literally hurts. We feel a black ink in our veins. We feel like we're diminished. We feel like our life force is sucked. We feel like we can't get out of bed. It's horrific. And when it's a negative, horrible, toxic, it is so toxic, that peptide, it diminishes our cell's ability to hold nutrients or to uh, have oxygen. So what's happening is rather than evolving, we're dissolving. Rather than integrating back into our body, into space and light and source, we're getting ripped away from that and we're going into disintegration. Now, what happens is your body's been so used to receiving these particular peptides. And in the cells of our body, every time the cells reproduce, they create two cells from that one that have got twice the amount of receptor docking points that are specifically geared to accept what you have been receiving big emotional charges on, such as betrayal, invalidation, abuse. So your cells are more and more and more geared to receive exactly that peptide cocktail. You are literally physiologically, cellularly addicted to it. So what happens is when you get away from the narcissist, the cells in your body that are used to receiving that peptide, that cocktail over and over and over again are not getting it. And your cells are really sneaky because they're going to hold back a little bit of that peptide for a rainy day, for that day when they're not getting the hit. And then they're going to release it. It goes up through your bloodstream. It goes to your brain. It triggers your brain neurowiring to start thinking about the betrayal again, which signals your hypothalamus to create the cocktail. Then it gets distributed through your body. The cells accept it in and they go, thank you. I just got my hit. So this is why you keep obsessing. This is why you keep researching the same things over and over again. This is why you break no contact. This is why you feel like you're dying without this person. This is why you feel like you might even say to yourself, I'm a really smart, intelligent person. I really hate this person and what they're doing to me, but I can't stop contacting them or thinking about them. I feel like I'm going mad. It's because at this quantum process that is going in your on in your body, so within, so without, your cells are stuck 
in a peptide addiction to the nasty things that have been going on. So think of the narcissist as the drug dealer and you're the addict without knowing it. You're wanting to hook back up to them over and over and over and over again. So initially, when you get out of the narcissist energy, you're actually not out of the narcissist energy. The narcissist is still living on inside of you, literally in the cells of your body, in the cells of your being. So how do we reverse this? How do we reverse this? It has to happen from you getting out of the peptide addiction, back into getting space in your cells, health and light in your cells so that you can connect to true source and get disconnected from the narcissist still being able to psychically and parasitically feed off you through your wounds that are stuck in the peptide chemical addiction cocktail to them. I promise you, narcissists are getting an energy feed, even if you haven't seen them, for 20 years if you're still stuck in the peptide addiction. It's 100% true. And I've had it confirmed to me so, 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 so many times when you actually, when you, when you break that peptide addiction and you get out of that cycle and you start getting back into your body, getting space and health and source and start filling it with light, which means that you completely cut off the connection from a dark soul who's been feeding and sucking off your wounds like a pig likes to roll in mud. And they do. Once you disconnect all of that, even after 10, 20, 30 years, there have been narcissists that have made contact with people virtually at the very time that they've disconnected them and flushed out the wounds and filled with light. Why? Because unconsciously somewhere as a psychic vampire, the narcissist feels the cut and they have a crack to try to rehook it back up. And if you're healed up enough and you keep vigilant on cleaning out the triggers and the traumas and the darkness to fill it up with light and space, then you will graduate beyond that and that'll be the end. So, you know, what will your energy be without the narcissist? The truth is this. If you don't clean up that peptide addiction, I'm going to put a link with this video so you can learn about it more. If you don't clean it up, it means that your energy without the narcissist is still with the narcissist. It's still going on. And this is why so many people really struggle with their recovery because it's almost like They've had implants put into them that keep them going in the trauma. But what it really is, is that the cells of your body have been experiencing strong emotional, painful negative charges for such a long time you've got addicted to it. And of course, the bringer of those charges and the you know demon behind them was the narcissist. So that's where you stay hooked up in the energy of the narcissist. It's all going on in the cells of your body. And once you clean that up and move that up and out and replace it with light, you can come back into your body because with all this trauma and everything going on, you're out of your body. You're out of your power center. You're disassociated because it is so, so painful. So we really get forced to our knees in this make or break experience with narcissistic abuse where you're either going to go into dissolution or evolution. You're going to go into integration or disintegration. But I really want you to know this. We will never get past the darkness by ignoring it, sweeping it under the carpet and not meeting it. You cannot get bogged in a big muddy hole with your car and try and drive yourself out without stopping and recognizing that you're in a hole and take the actions that you need to get yourself out of it. You have to get into the hole and deal with it. And this is the same with ourselves in our body. We need to get into our body and deal with it. It's the inner work that gets you out of this. 
Because if you just pretend you're not in peptide addiction, you don't want to know about it, you're not going to look at it, you're not going to turn inwards to heal it, which is only what you can do when you have the tools to do it, which is what my work is all about, you have to address it. You have to face it and you have to go through the experience of it to get out of it. But when you do that, you are going to get unbogged and you will be able to drive the car without digging yourself deeper. Because this is the thing about narcissistic abuse. After it, we discover this phenomena. I can't just get up and get on with it. I can't just think my way out of it. I can't get it through my head. I can't just start connecting to success and rebuilding my life. And like a lot of us, you know, I'm a very A-type personality. I'm strong, I'm capable, very positive. There's always a solution. I can always make it work. You know, that those were my mottos that I used to wear like a badge. And I discovered through narcissistic abuse that that credo didn't work anymore. I couldn't just get up and get on with it. I tried to restart my life. I tried to rebuild. I tried to, to heal you know, by thinking my way out of it and researching my way out of it. But until I did the inner work, every time I tried to get up and get going again, I just kept hitting a brick wall and falling back down. Why? Because this is the grand calling. This is the divine calling to finally self-partner, turn within and to heal and love ourselves to wholeness by acknowledging that darkness, that toxicity that's stuck in our cells, by really understanding what's happening at the foundational causation level rather than just trying to deal with symptoms and by literally purging, exercising that darkness and that peptide addiction out of our cells to bring in space and light and connect to true source. In our greatest darkness, is our greatest light that we can mine, which is the coming home to who we really are as a being who can source through source in quantum empowered ways that we can actually change and reprogram our belief systems to know and live as ourselves as source knows and lives through us. So that we can start unfolding into our highest potential mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, financially, because that's who we were always meant to be. And what happened with narcissists is they kept us small and wounded and dependent and reliant and trapped so that they could suck everything out of you. And I promise you, they are still doing it even when you get away. That's why your self-partnering and healing and self-resurrection and emancipation is not just essential, but it's also not just going to be about surviving. It frees you into true thriving because all of those unconscious things that were our normal, the ways that we invalidated ourselves, the ways that we betrayed ourselves, the ways that we self-abandoned, self-rejected, the ways we weren't self-partnered is exactly unconsciously what has been the match for what's come into our life and got worse and worse and worse and worse and worse to bring us back to a true self-partnering with ourselves and source and the filling with light. That's what this whole thing has been about. And the most incredible gift about narcissistic abuse is when your energy is not with them anymore, is that we can't just sweep it under the rug and get on with it. This is a monumental evolution, soul opportunity to truly come home to ourselves. And if we miss it, well, then, then we're going to have to go through either a diminished life experience where the pain gets so hard that finally we wake up or we may need to get smashed again to actually this time take 
on the mission of ourselves coming home. I want you to know there's more than hope. I really, really do. And what I would love you to do, I'm going to put up a couple of resources. You know, NARP is the signature program in this community that has taken thousands of people out of the darkness and into their true self-connection and propelled them into their true life more so humbly than any other method that we have ever heard about in this community. And believe you me, we tried everything. And also too, you know, if you want to learn more about NARP and experience a quantum freedom healing, come into my free webinar. There's absolutely no obligation and you get a powerful inner healing on your peptide addiction in that, in that webinar. We, you're going to get relief and clarity just by coming into there. So I really hope that this helps. And I just want you to, you know, feel and know your power, your truth is within and you can take it back. Also, I'd love to just remind you to make sure if you're not subscribed to my channel, click the notification bell because uh, I'm always coming on doing lives, question and answers and you know, lots of different videos. And it's my greatest mission to take you out of the darkness and into the light. Lots of love. Bye-bye.